What's up, what's up? It's your boy, the one and only Joe C. Dion. And if you see the car, you know what time it is. It's time to go on another motherfucking game trip. Yes, it's Tuesday, June 25th, 2013. Around 10.05, 10.06. I've been up all morning, mowing the lawn, trying to make my house look good and everything, watering the plants, you know, doing that man stuff. And now it's time for me to head to my local GameStop, pick up my copy of Project X Zone Special Edition for the Nintendo 3DS. It's game trips, y'all. So let's go. And as you can see, no, I haven't washed my car yet. It's still dirty. I need to wash my car. I plan to. But, uh, you know, it's time to go, man. There's my recent trips, bags, just, you know. I need to clean my car all together. I'm not one of those kind of dudes, man, who really like, it's like I, I like cars, I love cars, but I'm not like a, like a car fanatic, you know what I'm saying? As long as it work, as long as I can drive in it, that's all I really care about. I'm not, I don't wash my car all the time, I don't clean out all the time, I already take care of it like I should, but you know, I'm just not a car guy like that. But uh, yeah, I got my 3DSs, got my street passes, got my money, got my pass bags. So let's go. So yeah, I'm heading to a uh, game to pick up my copy of Project X Zone for the Nintendo 3DS, the collector's edition. Uh, Project X Zone is a uh, tactical strategy game similar to uh, uh, Fire Emblem and Advanced Wars. It's a sort of sequel to uh, Namco X Capcom or Capcom X Namco, I'm not quite sure how the name exactly. A game that was done on, I believe, the PSP. Uh, collaboration between Namco and Capcom. Well, this game is a collaboration between Namco, Capcom, and Sega. So if you're if you're a big, uh, if you're a big gamer fan, if you're a big anime fan, you like, just like, you know, anything Japanese, I highly recommend picking the game up because, like I said, it's all these characters together. You have Street Fighter and Mega Man meets, uh, you know, uh, Arthur and Hack, Doc Sign with uh, Virtual Fighter and uh, Sakura Wars. You know what I'm saying? All these characters will be together, just fighting, each, fighting alongside each other, and an all original story. You know, new characters involved. You know, over the top combos, action, and everything. It's just a, it's a fun experience. So. Yeah, I highly recommend it if you into those kind of games. If not, just get it because you know, like I said, it's it's a Japanese game, man. The industry right now it seems like they don't want to really give Japanese games love. Everything will be westernized. Everything will be just like Western concept and simple stuff like this, crazy stuff like this is not really permitted anymore. You'll see games like this now on like the ISO market, you know. And we don't, we don't need that right now. But we need these games to be mainstream. We need these games to always be always be viable in the market because I like variety, you know. And also, I like the idea that Japanese gamers, well, sorry, not gamers, Japanese developers just don't give a damn. Their concepts, their the ideas, they come from anywhere and everything. You know, I feel Western uh, developers try their best to be too realistic. They're too worried about you know the story. They want to make a they want to make a game that can translate that can translate to a movie real well. And while I can understand and respect that, I just don't want to play that all the time. You know, every now and then, yeah, I love to play a movie. Sorry, not a movie. I love to play a game that feel like a movie that you get the full experience while you're playing it, and once you're done, you know, you're done with it. Every once in a while. But I don't want every game to be like that, you know? I want a game to feel like a game where it's about getting to the end, it's about going for points, it's about collecting something, it's about, I can do it a variety of ways, you know? That's what I'm looking for, that's what I want in gaming. This kind of thing, it has that vibe because, like I said, you have full control of the cash you get, how you attack, how, it's, it's, it's a strategy game, you know? You do what you want to do. And so, it has multiple play or replay value because you always attack and do certain patterns and strategies different from what you did before in previous playthroughs. Alright, let me get over here and just do being slow and shit. So yeah, I'm actually picking this game up. I can't lie to you. I'm picking it up, but it might not get that much love for me right now, man, because I'm totally into the animal crack. The animal crack, like most crack before it, is addicting. It's something that I just can't get enough of. Yeah, I mean, I play it all through the night and everything. You know, just constantly just 
walking up my town, uh, being creative with my town. I finally got the ability to use my QR scan, the, the QR scan mode in the game. And so I've been going around just trying to scan patterns and scan clothing ideas, you know, to put in my town and use. And it just adds a whole other level of creativity to the game. And seeing these other gamers in their tags and how creative they're being with it, it just makes you, you know, just like fall in love with the game even more. Because it's like you see someone in town, it's like, man, that's beautiful. I want to see Captain Town better than that. And then when you do that, it's always someone else to come along, you know, they make you want to push you, they push you even further. Well, I'm almost here, y'all. So, I'm going to get ready to shut it down for at least this first part of the video. Like I said, I'm excited to get this game. We're in this, we're in the span right now, especially on the Nintendo side. That's games are coming out left and right, left and right. No matter what you, or no matter what you have, 3DS or Wii U, games are coming, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's great to have games to play. All right, y'all. So here we go. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Looky here, looky here. We got like a freak over there, look like it, don't we? Yes, sir. Look like we got a freak over there. I'm gonna go check her out in a minute. But uh, here we go, y'all. Got my game. A limited edition, I mean, I guess, you know. <laughs> He's one of the things like, what's so limited about it? Soundtrack, art book poster, okay, that's cool. And uh, give me a moment, y'all, and I'll take this home and unbox it, so. Let's uh, get on the road real quick. All right, look at that bitch. Ooh, let me check a little ass. I mean, no offense. To any females watching, when I say bitch or whatever, I don't mean it in no bad way. I mean, I know it, it's, 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 it's no saying bitch is a bad word. Damn, she went in. I mean, it is a bad word, don't get me wrong. There's no way you can, you know, try to pass it off as anything else but the word. You know, if someone said nigga or something, yeah, I'd be pissed off, especially if you're not black. There's no way you can pass that off as anything but being what it is. But, you know, it's like I said, I don't mean it. I definitely don't mean it as 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 the way it comes, comes out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm, I'm driving, and uh, let me get back, and I'll see y'all guys in a moment. All right, everybody, I'm back. So let's do this. This unboxing. But yeah, like I said a minute ago, y'all, with a little brief moment I had. If you're new to these videos and don't get who I am and understand why I do things the way I do it, this is my chance, you know, to get let y'all see a little bit of my real personality, who I really am, okay? I don't do videos, you know, I don't show my face in videos. I don't give people too much of my personal side, but I try to give people my personality and who I am. You know, I'm an older cat, you know, above 30 and everything. I lived a pretty interesting life. And, uh, you know, the era I'm from, the the time frame I'm from and everything, it's, it's different, man. It wasn't PC. It wasn't on this political, uh, you know, Correct bull crap that goes on. We say how we feel, and we do it all the time. It's hundred percent. It's being real, hundred percent all the time. And so, if I see a female who I think is attractive, I'm gonna say something like that. If I see somebody I think is stupid, I'm gonna say something like you know, I'm gonna say so. I'm gonna say something. And I don't mean to offend anybody because I know nowadays people get offended easily, and I'm not trying to do that. But I'm trying to be honest to myself and who I am. You know, so like I say, forgive me. If I offend you, if not, you know, you don't want to forgive me, you know, peace. But that's what it is. So here we go. The soundtrack, the official visual book, which looks pretty cool. Some of these characters, I don't know who the hell they are. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I love Japan. You see that? Nobody in the U.S. would do a character like that. Nobody in the U.S. would say, I want to make a girl wearing, you know, stockings. Thigh high stockings, right? Breasts all hanging out, little ass skirt with long ass hair. That don't come through Americans, Western arts eyes. But Japanese, that's what they see. Look at this dude. Cowboy. And yes, I know females gonna be saying, well, why the girl gotta be naked and why the guy have clothes on? Well, look at real life. 
How many girls you see going places, doing things, I ain't gonna say they half naked, but they sure are, they sure are showing off their body parts. And when you a guy, and you physically fit like this dude here, you gonna be have to walk around shirtless, showing off the abs. So, you know, it, it's, it's fair, okay? You know, it's some fair stuff going on. It ain't over, Japan ain't overly sex, sexist towards females. The characters right here were from uh, the the Nako versus uh, versus Tekken game, right there they're returning, and so cool art book. Like I said, real cool art book, real cool character design. So I'm looking forward to it. Dante, big old pimp. So looking forward to it definitely. So there you go. There's the game. I'm not gonna open it because you know what it looks like. And uh, there you have it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this uh, early morning game trip. I'll see you guys soon in another episode real soon as another game comes out planning to buy. Until then, why don't you go out and buy it? Buy this game today. Buy something. Spend some money. If you're a gamer, buy the games so you can play them. Alright? This is one only Joseph Dion. I'll see you next time. Peace.